enjoy these videos please hit like subscribe and comment below and i'll try to reply this video is about the bermuda triangle the mystery of the yacht named witchcraft the bermuda triangle mystery of the yacht named witchcraft started on the 22nd day in december in the year of 1967 an avid yachtsman by the name of dan barack and father patrick hogan decided to set sail on the 23rd for luxury yacht. It was a trip where the two would enjoy the magnificent holiday lights off the coast of Miami. The goal was to navigate just a short distance and then observe the spectacular lighting up around the city. Unfortunately, by the time the yacht reached the buoy at Dunbar to Seven, the yacht named Witchcraft had already experienced some difficulty. This was just less than one mile total from the marina that the water vessel had set sail from. Dan Barak had come in contact with something below the water. He did not discover any immediate threat, but seemed to realize that the rudder of the yacht, or possibly the propeller system, had been damaged in the hit. However, it appeared that the actual hull was preserved. Barak made a call to the RCC, in Miami and explained that the he would need manual he would need manually assistance to the marina that he had left. He also indicated that the witchcraft was not experiencing an emergency. Individuals that received his call recalled that he was calm and composed. They did not feel based on the sound of his voice that was there was immediate concern. Though they dispatched assistance as soon as possible, the call was made at 9, 9 p.m. At this point, dispatchers did not consider this to be another Bermuda Triangle mystery. It was not until their arrival, just 19 minutes after the call was received from Iraq called in, did they find the situation a bit particular. Many in the area knew that the witchcraft was designed with a specially built flotation device. The luxury yacht was considered to be unsinkable. However, when help arrived, the witchcraft was nowhere in sight. As a matter of fact, there was no evidence that the yacht had experienced a struggle and no appearance that a yacht had ever been present. It was at this point that the witchcraft became the next Bermuda Triangle mystery. The Miami Coast Guard could not explain the mysterious disappearance of the yacht. They never received any type of additional calls for assistance from the witchcraft. They placed an alert among all water vessels to keep their eyes peeled for the cruiser. At an in-depth search of 1,200 square miles was conducted to no avail of Barak. The priest or his beloved witchcraft despite the fact that 50 miles worth of water vessels were watching for the boat. No one witnessed it anywhere. Eventually, an amazing 24,500 square miles would be searched over a period of six days. It appeared the witchcraft was, in fact, the next Bermuda Triangle mystery. The Miami Coast Guard was quoted in saying, they are presumed missing but not lost at sea. It appears that the buoy seven has a secret, a secret that it, the witchcraft Barack and his father knew, considered to be one of the greatest unsolved mysteries. The witchcraft is one of the, the one that will remain to go unsolved. Like, subscribe, and comment below.